Zombie Tactics here today, and I'm proud to bring you an exclusive. I've looked. No one has done a review on this excellent tool, the Ontario Knife Company SPAX-16 Combat Rescue Axe. That's S-P-A-X-16. You know, this is one of these things that I saw in a catalog one day, and I just said, that's so outrageous. <laughs> I've just got to get it. It's 13 uh, some odd inches long here. I've got a ruler here that you can see just to, for uh, purposes of, um, of comparison. The blade, they say, is 8 inches long. I don't know how they're measuring that, whether they're measuring that from here to here or something. I don't, I don't know. that. It's not all sharpened. Uh, and you've got just a number of interesting features here in an axe. Uh, I have to say, when I first got this, I, I took it out and I tried to chop some wood with it, and I was amazed at how well it held up, but I wasn't amazed very much with how well it cut when I was cutting wood. And then I realized that I was cutting solid oak on my property that had not been completely cured and dried yet, and it was amazing to me the job that this did on solid oak. This, uh, the blade, and as a matter of fact, the entire full tang construction of the knife, uh, the blade surface itself, is a very, very tough carbon steel, 1095 carbon steel. And I'll tell you, this this steel is amazing to me. What I've done to this thing in testing it is incredible, and I'll describe that in a bit. This is not designed to be a camp axe. It's designed to be a rescue axe. And you'll notice here that you have a kind of a pointed edge that is designed so that when you whack this thing, the pointed edge will hit first. That's because it's designed to frankly, punch into aircraft aluminum, um, car bodies and doors, break glass, uh, whatever, and then a very, very sharp cut it, trailing cutting edge that can, frankly, in some cases, be even used for uh, almost fine detail work. I made the mistake of not thinking that this part of the blade was very sharp because this here is more of a, of a, uh, a poking edge, more of a, you know, a slamming edge, and just about cut my thumb off, or at least it felt like it with this edge here. On the other side, you have this pry bar type of a situation, and you can see there's a little bit of schmutz on here, and that's because I've been wailing away at cinder block and, uh, and red brick with it, and it just keeps on taking it. As I said, that 1095 carbon steel is amazingly tough. Uh, this is a one-handed wrecking ball. <laughs> or wrecking device, except for the fact that you've also got these slotted indentations here, or cutouts here, that are designed for you to be able to use um, things like water valves, gas mains, uh, certain kinds of military equipment that has a slotted uh, valve type situation here. I've, I've tried it. It does work with at least residential um, fire hydrants. I didn't actually open the fire hydrant and break any laws. But I've been wailing on stuff with this, and it's amazing. I was going to put that on camera, except that I didn't have a way to protect the um, the camera itself from flying brick and cinder block chips. This uh, device is unique, and I, I at first kind of said, I don't even really know if it's the best device of its type, but I, but I have found out in researching this that it is uh, carried on board the President of the United States uh, helicopter as a rescue tool, the the HMX uh, helicopters. It's also been used uh, at Ground Zero following 1911. They handed out hundreds of these things and they, they did a very good job uh, used in the wake of uh, Hurricane Katrina. It's been referred to by a couple of uh, other reviewers in magazines as like a one-man Halligan tool. And if you know what a Halligan tool is, um, that's quite a nice thing to say about this. It comes in a number of different formats with different kinds of sheaths. I happen to get this in this uh, Cordura, I guess you'd call it Cordura, or a very, very thick uh, ripstop material in the sort of camo webbing all over so you can attach tools and other things. It does come with a thigh strap, but depending upon how you're using it, that could be very effective. Um, it's not designed to be a quick deployment um, device. You can see how many snaps go around to lock this thing in here including around the Creighton handle. That's a Creighton handle, by the way, and that's seen a little bit of smacking up some things against against things as well, and it just keeps on taking it. Uh, as a rescue tool, this is it. If you are preparing for a situation where you don't have access to, you know, a fire department to come and save you, uh, well, here's your mini fire department rescue tool. This will get you out of a building or into a building, turn off the gas mains, turn on or off the water mains, uh, it'll deflate tires, it'll go through uh, 
tile, it'll go through red brick, it'll go through cinder block amazingly well. Um, you can chop wood with it in the pinch, I, I guess. This pry bar is amazingly effective. I've had this thing just uh, ripping on things. Works very well. And surprisingly, this tip uh, works very well on manhole covers. Again, things I'm trying that might be marginally <laughs> illegal, but i got to test this stuff. You can get that inside of a manhole cover and use this to pry that puppy up, and it'll work just fine. It is a bit on the heavy side. It weighs, if I look up the weight here, um, I'll put the weight in the notes here pretty soon. It's not a light thing, but it is something uh, that you might want to have in your kit as a, a rescue tool, as something to get in and out of buildings. It's the SPAX 16, the Ontario Knife Company, SPAX 16. They're available somewhere around $60, $70 on up, and I do mean on up. I've seen these for as much as $250 in a local store and as little as $65 without the sheath. So figure out. I think it's a great device to have. Uh, it certainly takes on a number of roles that you might encounter during an emergency. Just the fact that you need something to turn on off your uh, your gas main right there, right in of itself, that's practically worth the price of admission as opposed to searching around for a, I don't know, a monkey wrench or something. Great device. I love having it, and I love bringing the exclusive to you on YouTube. That's the SPAC 16 Combat Rescue Axe, and this is Zombie Tactics. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.